obviously the Cabinet Subcommittee met on Friday to discuss in particular flights now not going ahead on July 9th, uh, July 20th and some ministers seeming to be arguing that flights shouldn't go ahead at all. As Transport Minister, what's what's your opinion of no, whether flight, they should go? Uh, flights will continue we are, and at no stage has there been a complete restriction on flights. We do need we need emergency workers. We, there are certain essential occasions when people will have to fly and, and uh, uh, so there's been no stopping of flights. But what we're hoping is that the solidarity that's worked in the past four months, that this country has done well, you know, okay, terrible loss of life and loss in so many ways, but but we've done well as a people. And it's because we, we came together and showed solidarity. So by restricting travel, particularly overseas travel, where it's not essential, that's continued to play the part. And um, where we will, though, start to open up flights and it kind of is in those countries where the conditions are similar, if not better than our own and uh, a so-called green list. And that's what will be published on the 20th of uh, July or prior to that, but uh, green list operating after that. Um, we will also look at introduce other measures to try and improve our, our, our responsiveness because the virus hasn't gone away. Like it's actually flaring across the world at the moment. It's actually rising in terms of number of cases per, week, per day. So, and we as an open country to the world cannot completely isolate ourselves, particularly because we're in a common travel area with the, with the UK. So what we will have to do is introduce further protocols to try and manage this.